The press of people leaving the jungle camp threatened to overwhelm the police trying to keep early morning queues in order. Many were Sudanese refugees from Darfur who have already applied for asylum in France. They described their hopes of reaching Britain as postponed, not abandoned. Among their ranks, Afghans also trying to escape what they described as appalling living conditions here. One who didn't want to show his face told me why he will not give up his hopes of reaching Britain. The United Kingdom is a very rich country, or the good people, the nice people, or everything is nice, revolution, and uh, everybody is happy there. Police officers from London also toured the camp. Their biggest concern, to help protect the unaccompanied children with valid claims for asylum in the UK. For the minors, the UK authorities are here to help with family reunification and to send those who have authorization over to the UK. The Home Office, though, say they've reluctantly agreed the transfer process will be temporarily paused after a request by the French authorities while this operation continues. It's been estimated there still could be almost a thousand children and young teenagers in the camp. They're being kept in specially converted shipping containers where conditions are considered to be more humane than the surrounding tents and shacks. The operation on Monday went smoothly and efficiently, but it had been hoped that 3,000 refugees would have been processed from the camp. The actual figure has fallen a bit short of that. French government workers are due to start demolishing the camp on Tuesday. But many of the refugees here say they will stand their ground, raising the possibility of another flashpoint with riot police. Despite the threat of deportation, the refugees remain defiant. David Chater, Al Jazeera, Calais.